Hi guys, this is Roger Eslick with GenesisDemos.com. In this video, I want to quickly show you how you can modify the footer for any of the Genesis uh, child themes from Studio Press. So, for example, here we've got the agency child theme from Genesis for Genesis from Studio Press, and as you can see, the regular default footer looks like this. So let's say that we wanted to change that. We want to change it to say something like, you know, your your website, or let's say we wanted to change it to say De uh, Genesis Demos. And let's say maybe what we really want to do there is leave some of this there and have the links go back and uh, make uh, affiliate money from affiliate commissions from having the, those links down there instead of just redirecting people to back to Genesis, back to Studio Press, and not getting anything from it. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to actually just, I'm just going to modify the links in here, but you'll see as well that you could easily modify whatever text is there. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in, I've logged in, I'm going to go up here to the dashboard, and I'm going to install a plugin. So we're going to go over here to Plugins, Add New, we're going to search for the uh, Genesis Simple Edits plugin. And here it is right here. It's the one by Nathan Rice. I'm going to click on Install Now and OK. I'm going to click on Activate Plugin. And now you, you see over here we've got the Genesis Simple Edits plugin. And if you go up here over to the left hand side where you have your Genesis uh, theme framework installed and the child theme, you can see that down at the bottom we now have a menu item for Simple Edits. We're going to click on that. Now down at the bottom, there's a number of things that this plugin allows you to change. All we're interested in right now is the footer output and actually I was messing around with it and it looks like it retained those settings so let me get rid of that I'm going to reset that and save the settings and now let's go to I'm going to go up here I'm going to right click and open uh, visit the site in a new tab I'm using Google by Google Chrome by the way as, as a browser and I highly recommend it so if we go over here we're going to go down to the bottom down here and this is what we see, right? This is exactly what we should see. Copyright agency theme, which is the theme, Genesis Framework by Studio Press, WordPress, and then log out. Now what that looks like, if you go back over here to the simple edits tab, what that looks like here is you can do just a bunch of short code up here or you can actually modify the whole footer and that's kind of what it looks like here. Now they're still using the short code here. So since I want to change a number of different things here, I'm actually going to I actually want to know the actual text that's in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to back up to the actual page and I actually want to get this information that's written out. So I'm going to right click here and click on inspect element. Of course, like I said, this is using Google Chrome. This ability to do this and to click on inspect element and to have this uh, developer or this uh, toolbox that show up here is built into Chrome. So if you install Chrome, you will have this ability. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and right here where it says division class creds, um, this is all the information I want right here. It goes all the way down to down into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse this and I am going to right click on the creds and I'm going or on this division class creds and I'm going to copy as HTML. Now what I'm going to do is kind of slick. I'm going to we can get rid of this. I'm going to go up to back up here to well I'll go right here. I'm going to go up to the upper left hand corner and I'm going to go down to uh, the dashboard <clears throat> excuse me 
and I'm going to go over here to pages all pages and now I've got my sample page I'm going to click on the sample page to edit it and I'm going to just put my left the cursor to the left of the text here I'm going to go down hit the enter, enter key a few times so I've got some space space back up here and I'm under the text column or the text tab and I'm going to right click and paste so now I've got all now I've got all, all this stuff that I want to um, modify okay but I don't want to use all of this just well actually I do so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to modify some stuff in here and then we're going to go back over to the simple simple edits and paste that in so I'm going to open up just so we can keep track of when we go back in we can keep track of what we're changing so the thing that I really want to change here and again you can see that you could do all kinds of changes you want to this changes that this is really meant to change the text if you really want to get fancy about it and change the whole styling and everything that's a much bigger issue here we're talking about just changing the text the default text to to um, make it more your style really your text rather than your style so what I'm going to do is I really want to I'm going to leave the agency theme here but I want this link to be a link to my my affiliate link so I'm going to go over and grab my affiliate link which I've already gotten and I'm going to highlight this and paste it in there all right, same thing here. I want to. That's going to take. That's going to take anybody that clicks on it to the same page as it would have originally, but it's going to be an affiliate link. Now I want to do the same thing with the Genesis Framework. This is going to take them directly to the Genesis Framework page. I'm going to grab some text off here. I'm going to paste that here, so that when they click on that second link, it's going to take them to the same place it would originally but it's going to be an affiliate link and now I'm going to do the same thing for the third link right for studio press right here and the other stuff I want to leave the same so now I've got this going for me so what I want is I want to take this part right here okay where I'm starting with my link and I'm going to go all the way down to where it stops with Studio Press, right there. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back to my simple edits. And I'm going to go into here where it says creds, and where it says foot copyright, footer copyright. I want to leave that in there. But now where it says child child theme link, all the way down to Studio Press link those I want to I want to replace with my custom text I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that in there so now if everything went well I should have the footer that I want. I'm going to click on save settings there's one more thing you do need to do is you need to click check this box modify entire foot footer text you need to check that and I'm going to save the settings again and now if we go up to our page and we hit F5 to refresh it, we go down to the bottom. Now it still says copyright 2013 agency theme Genesis framework studio press. But if I click on any of these, you notice over here to the left, you can see the share sale thing. If we click on that, it goes to the agency theme like it did before. Or if I click on Genesis Framework, it goes directly to the Genesis Framework page, as it did before. But that's gonna. But in all three cases, this is gonna be an affiliate link. Like I say, you can change this up however you want to. It's a way to change the text up. It still has WordPress there, and that's not an affiliate link because there's no affiliate commissions there. And you can also log out. So I didn't change those things. So this is how you modify your customize the footer and Genesis theme framework just customizing the text very easy very quickly I hope this was useful have a great day talk to you later bye